Hi everyone, welcome. Um, we're here for the Drupal Association's Global Training Days webinar. I'm Lauren Shea with the Drupal Association. I'm our Community Outreach Coordinator and I work on Global Training Days as one of my projects. And I have with us today, Kenny from Annexus IT and Amy from Blink Reaction. And we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about Global Training Days and what that looks like how you can incorporate that into something that you are doing as a trainer and how to give back to the community. Just a little bit of housekeeping. Um, if you're listening from your computers, please select the mic and speaker audio option. You're gonna be remained muted on the call. And if you have any questions, please put them into the Q&A window. We're not using the chat option on this webinar. And also look for our post-webinar survey that we'll send out after the webinar, as well as a recorded video as this is going on. A little bit about the Drupal Association. Um, our mission is to foster and support the Drupal community so they can collaborate together as they innovate the project. There's so much and so many ways to give back to the community, just as Global Training Days is. Um, we host our Drupal.org and are building a tech team to improve the site. We just hired Josh, our CTO, um, and we're also hiring for more positions. We provide grants for the community members to fund ways that grow the community and further the project, like starting new camps in areas such as China or running multi-city roadshows evangelizing Drupal. And we host DrupalCons, which bring together thousands uh, of people to work on the project and bond as a community. We even provide scholarships and help amazing community members from around the globe to attend the event. All of this is funded through our memberships, our DrupalCons, and our partners. Next slide. We also have some upcoming events, DrupalCon Austin. Again, this is our big event where a lot of a lot of different businesses and trainers, as well as uh, Drupal users and colleagues come together and, and meet and discuss some trainings as well as uh, other sessions. It's really an exciting opportunity to see all things Drupal. Um, we have our next Global Training Days, which we'll be talking about. That's coming up in May. And our next webinar is with Achieve Internet, and they're talking about how Drupal integration can grow your business. A little bit about the Drupal Association membership. Um, like I said earlier, we're, we're here to support the Drupal community and support Drupal.org infrastructure. Um, we have some membership fees that help fund these programs and also provide you and your company uh, with a way to grow and support Drupal. Um, there's information here on individual memberships or organization memberships. And if you have more questions about that, you can see the link at the bottom of the page. Um, and we also recognize our, um, our members in our Drupal Association annual report. Okay, so what is Global Training Days? Our Global Training Days is an initiative that we started um, to introduce new and beginning Drupal users um, to the code. The Drupal Association is partnering with training companies to make this happen. So once a quarter, we, um, we send out a call to action to our trainers around the globe to participate. Uh, we have two of our training companies and trainers that are doing this currently. Um, and basically it's just an introduction for new people to get into Drupal and see how, um, see how everything works. We have two different types of curriculum. Introduction to Drupal, which is a full day of training on the basics of Drupal. Um, they'll, the curriculum is built so that a, a newbie can build a Drupal site by the end. And um, it's ideal for people who are really exploring Drupal as a career option. Our second training, which a trainer can provide, what is Drupal, is a half day workshop. And this addresses just the basics of Drupal and gives an overview of those interested in evaluating and implementing Drupal. 
each training company makes their own event and provides more detail on their website. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit later as far as where to sign up. Where is Global Training Days? So this February we hosted and we had 20 countries represented from 34 different training companies with over 200 participants. This was huge. One of our biggest events. Um, we had countries in almost every continent and um, it was a really, really successful show of how the global effort and global initiative being Drupal is, is really being adopted worldwide. And, um, you know, one of the best parts about this is that people are so excited about Drupal and, you know, building our core group of developers that, um, you know, it's, it's a great way to give back and, and learn about Drupal worldwide. So now I'm going to introduce you to Kenny. Um, he's a CEO at Anexus IT, and he'll talk to you about his Drupal uh, Global Training Days and himself. Kenny, whenever you're ready. Perfect. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, my name is Kenny. Uh, as you can see, I'm, a, I'm the CEO of uh, Anexus IT. We started working with uh, a Drupal. Well, I, I actually started working with Drupal back in 2007 as a front-end developer. And um, my role right now at the company is uh, mostly on the administrative side. Um, so management, client management, and recruitment training, and all those uh, sort of things. Um, our training involves basically uh, Drupal basics, uh, CMS comparisons, terminology, and some hands-on training as well. So if you can go to the next slide, perfect, thank you. A little bit about our company. Um, Anexus is a Drupal consulting firm. We are based in San Jose, Costa Rica. Um, our company is five years old, and we have around 25 people in our company. Um, around 20 of them are Drupal developers. Our clients are mainly large uh, Drupal agencies within the US and, and Europe. And uh, Seven Sabores, Siete Sabores, is our way of providing documentation, code snippets, and, and video training uh, for Drupal. As you can see down below, uh, Seven Sabores, that's the Seven Sabores logo. And then we have a plato typico, which is uh, translates into a typical dish. Um, that's a distro that we have. It's actually hosted in, in um, Drupal.org and also in Pantheon. So you can download it and it has a bunch of modules already installed and as well as uh, like translation and those kind of, kind of things. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And um, now I want to talk about uh, marketing, and marketing a GT, GTD event. Um, Costa Rica has a very strong Drupal community and Facebook plays a, a very important role in bringing the community together. We advertise events both in Costa Rica group, uh, Drupal.org, as well as on Facebook. From this point on, uh, different groups like Open Source Initiative, uh, PHP, Java, and other other security event. Um, time and money investment. We roughly invest around 100 bucks, um, basically uh, for snacks and drinks. And time-wise, we invest a small number of hours posting ads, getting things organized, answering questions from participants, uh, and during the event, we have two basically two resources: one person presenting the topics, and the other uh, be helping out during the breaks. Half day versus uh, full day training. We often work under both concepts: the structure and topics for each. Uh, actually vary widely. Uh, for half a day events, we have mainly two goals. The first one is uh, to help others see how Drupal can be a good career path. We do this uh, mostly for students and developers. And for the decision makers, we try to teach them the basics so they can determine whether Drupal is a good fit for their projects. The things that we have uh, found that a lot of people come to the training because they, they want to use Drupal but they don't have, uh, they don't know whether it is the right tool for your project. 
And number two is uh, theory. We focused on Drupal history, Drupal basics, and terminology. Things like nodes, CCKs, views, taxonomy, uh, Drupal core, uh, what else, uh, naming as well. Um, and for full day trainings, one of the most significant differences, I would say, is that we focus on a computer. Uh, we work uh, on a computer lab, so people can spend half a day installing Drupal and its modules, learning about folder structure, then creating like CCKs, views, uh, blocks, uh, and such. And we usually have more people helping out during full day trainings in case someone gets stuck during installation or something. So we can move on while the other guys uh, gives a hand. And I want to give a quick testimonial here. Um, back in 2011, Anexus held a training session in a coastal town college um, close to the beach. And we, we went uh, back to the campus two years later to try and find uh, prospect interns. And to our surprise, a few of the people we trained uh, were actively building websites in Drupal for a small business in the region. So um, um, we even ended up hiring uh, two of them, and they are actually part of our company. So for example, uh, with them, we got to avoid the learning curve, and, and they jumped right into a uh, client's project. And uh, just to wrap up, um, I would like to talk about giving back to the community. Uh, as a developer um, that started working with Drupal at, at an early stage, I was able to witness the whole uh, comp for the software state for the community spirit behind Drupal. Um, and as a company, Nexus continues to make efforts towards keeping, uh, keeping it that way. We feel that giving back to the community is our duty, and it has proven to benefit our company and others in many ways. So that's it from Nexus. Thank you, Kenny. That's a really great story. I didn't know about your interns um, that you yeah. trained. That's really, um, that's exactly what Global Training Days is about, right? Building our core group mm -hmm. of new developers so that, you know, training companies obviously can have new talent, but also to spread the information about the project. So thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. So we have some upcoming thank dates. Um, thank you again. <clears throat> we have some upcoming dates. We have Friday, May 30th. Friday, August 29th, and Friday, November 14th. We also heard from several community members that Fridays were difficult to arrange for a full day training. So now you can utilize the Saturday after. So for instance, Friday, May 30th, or Friday, May 31st, if that's better for your community uh, to utilize a Saturday, totally fine. And now we're gonna hear from Amy. She works with Blink Reaction. And she's also been really active in Global Training Days and spreading the word about that in North America. So Amy, whenever you're ready. Hi. Um, hey, my name is Amy Cham. I'm the Program Manager for the Blink Institute of Blink Reaction. I have been around Drupal since late 2007. Um, I've had kind of some mixed involvement. I've been on both the site building side and also on the business side of things, uh, mostly marketing. I am now focused on training. Uh, in general, my focus is on end users and new site builders. Uh, the Blink Institute as a whole goes beyond that. We do a lot of customized private trainings. We get into not only site builder, but also um, the, the theming and the development side of things, uh, you know, some symphony training and things like that. Uh, I can be found pretty much everywhere on the, online as Amy Cham, Drupal.org, Twitter, Skype, Wherever you're looking, I'm probably Amy Chum. Uh, next. Link Reaction is a full service Drupal centric agency um, along with the training division, which is the Blink Institute. We do a full delivery of Drupal related services from the strategic consulting through implementation and support. Uh, you can see some of our client list here. Uh, we tend to emphasize uh, long term relationships with our clients. And uh, along with the consulting and delivery, adoption and training services are a big part of our, um, what we offer our clients. For our, oh, <laughs> sorry, for, that's okay. Um, for our global training days, we go with a half day program, but we do it twice. So we'll offer, we usually use the, uh, the Hello Drupal curriculum 
and we offer that at, say, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Uh, we do this in New York. We have a, a trading facility in Soho that we use, uh, and sometimes we offer it remotely as well over GoToMeeting. Um, we use the curriculum, but the emphasis is very heavily on discussion. Uh, we try to make sure that people are getting the understanding that they need and engaging person to person. Uh, we think that's really important for, you know, we want to get more people using Drupal, we want to make it less mysterious, make it friendly, and, you know, definitely when we have new Drupalists in the room, we want, we want them to feel like this is something they want to continue being involved in. As far as promoting our global training days, um, I, th I think we use probably the, the usual channels. We use our own site. We post to the Acquia training site. We are uh, one of Acquia's training partners. And uh, we use, you know, the social media sites, uh, you know, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, but we found that most of our signups tend to come in through the, uh, the Drupal Network listing for global training news. So uh, we definitely, um, excuse me, <clears throat> you know, we, de we definitely try to, um, you know, point people in that direction so they can get a real sense of what Global Training Day is about. As far as the cost, um, I think we run about $500 per instance. That's mostly in our, our venue fees. And as far as what comes out of it, uh, we, it does lead to some paid trainings. Uh, I know I'm working with a private client right now who was in not the most recent Global Training Day, but the one back in November. Uh, and we definitely get a lot of new Drupalists continuing on. You know, we just had a nice camp over this past weekend, and I saw a couple people that I had met before in Global Training Days, and they had continued to engage with Drupal and the New York City community. Um, so that was really great to see. Uh, and obviously, it's great brand awareness for the organization. Um, that's pretty much what I have. Great. Thanks, Amy. Um, it's nice that you got to see some of your former students at Nice Camp. That's, that's really great. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to see people continue on with the technology Absolutely. and engaging with the community. Great. Um, so moving on, uh, the, the big question, how do you sign up? Um, we have a form uh, on uh, associationdrupal.org uh, listed here. Also, you can type in um, webinars and you can, or, excuse me, Global Training Days, and you can see um, where that's located. Um, and ask some basic questions about your company, um, you know, what the site you want it to link to so that people can register on your site, um, and uh, just some information that we can use to uh, have some metrics to, to measure our Global Training Days and our successes. So it looks like there's no questions listed here. Um, I just want to talk really quickly about some of our um, some of our curriculum uh, that Amy had mentioned earlier. We have some curriculum available, um, though we are forming a committee of trainers in spring 2014 uh, to combine some efforts and make a comprehensive and easy to use curriculum. The curriculum that's available is is really in depth and um, it's very well made. Uh, it just could be a little overwhelming for something like a half day uh, or a full day of training. So um, if, if there's anyone in the community that's interested in participating in that in particular, um, you can email me later about that. Um, and again, a reminder of our upcoming events. We have DrupalCon Austin coming up. Like I said, at Drupal Global Training Days in May. You're more than welcome to sign up for the future dates uh, in August and November at the same time, so you're already set. Um, and that way we can uh, host you live on our site to make sure that people are seeing your website and going there to register for Global Training Days. And a reminder, our next webinar is Achieve Internet, and they're talking about how Drupal integration can help grow your business. Um, and then just some uh, more information about uh, becoming a member. Um, check out our membership page for an organization or for an individual membership. I know those uh, badges are really great to have on your sites. And um, it also helps fund more scholarship grants and servers for the community. Thank you everyone for participating. Thank you, Kenny and Amy, for being our presenters. Um, you guys have been doing this 
longer than most people and your your expertise is really valued and we appreciate you being on uh, the webinar today and we hope to see you um, at DrupalCon Austin, but also participating in Global Training Days in May. So thank you very much. Thank you guys for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.